she ain't got no money in the bank. What is going on guys, Jack here and I am back with episode 4 of my FC Schalke career mode and before we get into this episode, if you could smash over 15 likes on this video, I will upload for you guys again tomorrow, so make sure you do take a couple seconds out of your day to hit that like button because again I'd very much appreciate it. As you can see we keep up the episode with some really good news here, we do receive a manager of the month award, very good here and the transfer window does come to a close, no action for us on transfer deadline day unfortunately but here is all the deals that have been done in the summer. Uh, we made some really good signs and I want to see some real, real talent. I think my favourite one of them all, I have to say, will be Batshuayi. He's come in and he's hit the floor running. He has been so good for us. And um, we got, do a couple of training sessions here with the lads. But yeah, um, the players that have impressed me so much this season is uh, Johannes Geis, uh, Leroy Sane and obviously uh, Michi Batshuayi. They've been absolutely unreal. But again, the whole team performing as a unit have been brilliant so you, you really can't take nothing away from them but as you can see here we do get ready for our first game of the episode it is in the Bundesliga it is against Mainz um, a very good side obviously one of the most players that you might be familiar with that arrived from them, away from him in the summer departed from him was uh, Okazaki of uh, Leicester City now so again they had a really good season last year so they're looking to do the same here yet again and it's going to be an interesting game to say the least uh, you know, no players really stand out for me. I'm not familiar with um, some real Bundesliga talents. You know, I already, I already know the basics of it. I know, like, the big players, but we don't really know any, anything about the smaller teams. But as you can see here, he made a good start here as Kolansiak does play the ball away, but they would get the ball back here when Mali gets a shot away with the main striker, but unfortunately, he does miss that great save there from Farnham. As you can see, though, Batshuayi brings us forward now with Maximilian Meyer. Great ball over the top to find Mahrez. Through on goal here, gets his shot away, and what a... Brilliant save that was from the goalkeeper. That was unreal. As you can see, as Mares comes forward again, Leon Grisetzka onto the ball. Loses at, though. They try and get forward with the ball here. Maximilian Meyer puts in a great challenge. Falls to Batshuayi with the shot. Great save yet again, though, from the goalkeeper. And again, we come into half-time. A nil-nil draw so far. But you would have to argue that Schalke have been the better side looking at them stats. But like I said, stats don't win you games. It's actually playing the game. Goals win you games. As Meyer gets onto the ball here in the second half, looking to make something work here. Fantastic through Bruin to Batshuayi. Cuts inside his man, shoots. What a save that is from the goalkeeper. Falls to Leroy Sané, though. Can't make anything work from that as the ball does come out of place. We do bring on Emre Chan, Julian Brandt, and I do believe Timo Werner. So, be interesting to see what happens now at the rest of this game as Matip gets onto the ball. Great bit of play from him. Again, he's in a very dangerous area here, Matip. If he loses that, we're going to be caught shy at the back. Does play it into path to Belanda with the shot. Straight in the hands of the goalkeeper, though, on that occasion. And that, unfortunately, guys, would be how the game finishes. Very, very dull game. Very dull game, to say the least. And, you know, we just have to push on now and hopefully get the result in the next game for us. Again, the match stats do not lie. We were dominant in the game. We probably deserve to get something out of it. But that's just the way football works, you know. You know, it could be your day. It couldn't be your day. And today, you know, the one thing we can look forward to is that we've got yet another clean sheet at the start of this season. Which, I believe that is four clean sheets now in four games. Which is very impressive for the team this far into the season. But guys, just a frame reminder, if you are enjoying the episode, you want to see another one, make sure you do smash that like button. Over 15 likes on this video, we'll upload again tomorrow. But, as you can see here, do some training here with the lads. Looking very good, looking very, very good. And as you can see, we do have a EuroLeague game. And first game in the group stage against Young Boys, we do win 2-0. Nasasic and Kakaria with the goals. The right back, obviously the Brazilian right back getting amongst the goals there. Actually, all the defenders to be in fact. And as you can see here, Roman Nostadja comes into the office and does thank us for uh, getting some more game time, which is good to see. Now, he won't moan about getting a lack of games, but he's happy that when he does get some games, you know. And that's what we want to see from the club, a bit of unity. As you can see, though, we get ready for another game in the Bundesliga against Stuttgart. It's going to be a very good game. Um, I'm hoping for a win. Obviously, off the back of a disappointing 0-0 draw against Mainz, we are definitely looking to give Stuttgart a very good game. Um, away from home, back to the wall job. I think the team performed very well under pressure, so... You know, it's just about the qualities going forward, and I think we do have that in all honesty. Uh, have a quick look at the Bundesliga table for this game. You do see that Stuttgart are nowhere near the top 10, and we are sitting pretty in second place. Players to watch out for today Robbie Cruz, Grub Kritz, and Divadi. Or, um, Divavi. Very, very good players. Even um, Sari Dai, 
very, very, and Christian Ginter actually, to say the least, are all very good midfield. So they're very capable of causing problems. As you can see, and Stewart gets onto the ball, loses that to Maya very early in the game. And what a save that is from Titan to keep the game at nil-nil. Maya nearly punished the goalkeeper there uh, for, for, from a poor defensive mistake. But again, Daye gets onto the ball, would find Grobkritz into the path of Cruz. Just wide of the mark there. We come very close to conceding our first goal of the season. As Sané now gets us on the counter-attack. Somehow finds Batshuayi with a fantastic ball. And a clean over the top for a ball finds Mares through on goal. Gets his shot away. It's saved by Titan. Brilliantly Meyer for the follow-up. What a finish that is from the German centre-attacking midfielder to find the back of the net. Schalke open the scoring right just after the half-an-hour mark there. And what a goal that was from him. Mares disappointed not to get the goal there. But again, I, I, I bet he was delighted that we, he's created the goal. In all honesty. So, you know, Mares, he... He's not one of them players that you see as, you know, what your team need uh, so far this season anyway. But he has provided a lot of chances, a lot of assists, and uh, created a lot of goal-scoring opportunities. But Sané goes through on goal here, gets a shot away. Titan holds on like that shot was nothing. Great goalkeeping there from a Stuttgart goalkeeper. But from the free kick here, Johannes Glass, what a free kick that was from him. But unfortunately, the goalkeeper, again, is level to it. Going in at half-time, it looks like a very even game between the two sides. And uh, despite it being 1-0 to Schalke, this game can go either way. So we definitely need to make sure we put this game to bed. And into the second half here, Maya goes through on goal here. Great link-up plays. He links up with uh, Johannes Gais, who gets taken that by Ensure. Referee does point to the spot. The Argentine left-back doesn't get a card, unfortunately, for us. But Gais does step up here. Can he find the back of the net here? Johannes Gais, and he does. Right into the top corner there. No chance for the goalkeeper. We double our lead 55 minutes into the game, courtesy of the uh, centre defence midfielder. Great finish from him here. Let's have a look at that again from the penalty spot here. Cool, calm and collective. Goalkeeper rooted to the spot. No chance for him saving that on that occasion. And Johannes Geis gets his first goal in the Bundesliga this season. And we are absolutely flying now in this game. Hopefully we can put the game to bed. As you can see, we come forward again with another attack. Leroy Sané now dodged the challenge. Great point to Batshuayi, but a goalkeeper was alert and on his toes to get there. As we do bring on Hoga, Brandt and Timo Werner now to see how they do. Last 10 minutes of the game, they come forward here in Sua. Puts the ball over the top. Would actually find Grinsek into Maxim. Maxim gets a shot away, and what a save that is from Farnham. Again, I thought that was going to go into the back of the net. But on the counter attack now, from a corner, we do play in Michi Batshuayi. He's through on goal here. He's got numbers in support here. It's Batshuayi gets tackled, falls into Werner. Great ball into Hoga. Hoga through on goal, plays into Batshuayi, into the empty net. Great team goal there. With five minutes left to go. We do make it 3 0 to Schalke. And I believe that would be all she wrote for this game here. Great, great team play there. I mean, um,. Unselfish play from Hoga. He could have definitely took the shot there, but he didn't. And again, he's shown great character going forward, as you can see here. 85th minute goal, three goals in the Bundesliga. Batshuayi is off to an absolute flyer with us. As you can see, we're not done here. As Werner comes forward now, into the, deep into extra or added time, should I say? Timo Werner beats his man, shoots. What a save that is from Titan there to keep the game at 3 0. And again, the goalkeeper had a really good game for me. I didn't really deserve to concede three goals, but. That's just the firepower we have up front here. And the game does come to an end. 3-0 and three vital points for our campaign. So congratulations to the team there. Look, it, it writes itself. You know, we have more shots, more on target. We were the bigger threat. And we were the team that won, unfortunately, for uh, Stuttgart. But, you no, know, onwards and upwards for Schalke. Ran the match for Ralph Farman. He definitely deserved it. He was brilliant for us. Really good goalkeeper. More training here with Timo Werner, Julian Brandt, Leroy Sané, Maximilian Meyer, and Leon Grzetska. All looking very good proceeding into the next month of the season. We do sim the other game in the Bundesliga. And again, the clean sheet record does continue. How long do you reckon we can keep this clean sheet record going on for? Another 3-0 win against Frankfurt. Werner with the double, Di Santo with the other goal. Let me know in the comment section down below how long we can keep this clean sheet record going for. As you can see here, very, very good uh, start to the season. Six games in, 16 points, two points clear already. Thank you for joining me, guys. Over 15 likes on this video, I will upload again for you tomorrow. If you are new around here, then hit that subscribe button too. And as always, I hope you have a really nice day. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.